happy Thursday to you. Thanks for sticking with us here on Up With Krem. Uh, so far, so good as we take a look outside. Up at Schweitzer Mountain, things are quiet, things are calm. Snow still up at the mountaintops, but of course, as we know, most of our area ski resorts came to an early close thanks to coronavirus concerns. However, the good news that I have for you is if you have already skipped forward to the spring season, much more spring-like weather is on the way, not only for today, but for tomorrow as well. Take a look at the next several days and what we've got as far as your warmest temperatures of 2020 so far go. Uh, the warmest temperature before yesterday was on February 28th, so way back in February, and it hit 60 degrees on the 28th. Uh, that was at the time, as of yesterday, the warmest we had seen 2020 so far. Uh, but for today, our afternoon high is 68 degrees. Yesterday, we made it to 63 degrees. The reason why I didn't put yesterday on there is because we're only on an upward trend. And tomorrow, we're expected to even hit 70 degrees as that afternoon high. Some forecast put Spokane at 71 and 72 degrees and central Washington in the upper 70s. So, the downside of this is all good things must come to an end. A cold front will bring colder weekend temperatures, but you can see just how much of the country has been under this uh, warmer than normal trend. Those are all the yellows and oranges on your screen. The only areas below normal for your high temperatures yesterday, well, those are the areas in blue, and they are very few and far between. For today, we're looking at high temperatures mostly, again, in the 70s and 60s. We've got central Washington warming up to 77 degrees in Yakima, 75 in Wenatchee and Ellensburg, 76 in Moses Lake, and 78 in Richland in eastern Washington. Spokane will make it to 68 this afternoon, 66 in Pullman, and 65 for Coeur d'Alene. So the downside is, of course, this cold front that comes through. Notice that for today and tomorrow, we're going to stick with the trend of dry conditions out there, but a few clouds roll in by Friday evening, and a few light showers do as well. This showery weather pattern is going to pick up into your Saturday. You can see showers around the central and southern panhandle in western Montana, but it will likely clear out by the time we get to Sunday. So Sunday, we're still looking at a mostly dry day and a sunny day as well, but a chance for showers does appear for your Friday night and your Saturday before we start to see those temperatures slowly rebound back into the beginning and middle portion of next week, hopefully regaining some momentum back to the mid to upper 50s, which is still in line with average, if not right above average uh, by about the middle of next week. We've got a quick, another quick break in store. We're back from more up with Prime right after this.